Tip number one, keep the van out of the sunlight. Exterior temp here is 126 degrees. If we go around the other side of the rig where it's been in the shade, the temperature of the skin here is 87 degrees. Huge difference. Keep your van out of the sunlight if possible. Tip number two, keep the cab out of the sunlight. The glass is 98 degrees. Let's measure the dashboard inside. Inside the cab, the black is 116 degrees. Keep your cab out of the sunlight. In addition to keeping the cab out of the sunlight, you want to try and keep the rear of the rig in the sun if you have to be in the sun at all. Again, point the rig so that the sun is on the back, exposing the least amount of surface to the sun, keeping the sides and the um, cab for sure out of the sunlight. Three, close your blinds. Don't let the sunlight come in to heat up the interior. What's cool about my shades are they have this foil on this side, which bounces the heat and the sun out of the van. Love these shades. Tip number four is to create your own shade when possible by putting out the awning to shield the van from the sun. And you don't need to put the awning out fully. You just want to have it out enough so that it covers the van to where the sun is just hitting it and that makes a dramatic difference on keeping the inside cool. Tip number five has to do with up here. Don't try and charge your batteries off solar because harvesting sunlight requires you to be in the sunlight and you're becoming, your van becomes a heat sink. My recommendation is if you wanna do solar is have an external array out where the sun is, keeping your van in the shade. If you wanna try and harvest some solar Again, keeping the van out of the sun makes a giant difference. 200 watts of solar isn't enough in my lithium equipped rig. Bolt a Pier 3 to do anything. So shade is more important. If you're doing the solar thing, put your ray out here so your van's in the shade. Tip number six has to do with this gadget here. What you want to try and do is maximize airflow based on where you are in the van. So if I'm up front, what I want to do is direct all of the energy, all the cold air up there. So clearly this is gonna be open, these are gonna be closed, and this back baffle is closed as well. The reverse is true at night. So this is my Murphy bed, it would lay down here. I'm in bed. Now I don't want the energy, the cold air going up front, so I close the baffle. I open this one up a, a bit like that, and you can see that it is now open. And then I direct air directly onto me to keep me cooler. What that allows me to do is run the compressor less so that it maintains the battery more um, longer, unless I'm plugged into short power like I am here. Uh, the other thing you want to do is put the mode so that it is on high cool or low cool, not auto mode like that. The reason for that is by having the air constantly moving, you are able to Again, dial the temperature up, keep the compressor running less, get more time off your battery, and that's certainly important if you're boondocking and even at short power, uh, it's a good habit because it just keeps the air moving and more comfortable in the van. For me, for the first time, howdy, my name is Scott. Welcome to my camper van channel, Go Small, Live Large. If you like van life videos, uh, you'll want to check out one of my most recent, which is Laundry Day as part of van life. I'm a full-time traveler now, I'm in my third year. And if you like van tours, check out one of the most popular uh, Class B RVs, the Coachman Nova 20C. It has a midship bathroom. A lot of the others have bathrooms in the back. Mine's right here, which is pretty cool. Check out that video. Have a cool summer. And a bonus tip. If you are in the Rockford, Illinois area, about 90 minutes west of Chicago, this is Black Hawk Valley Campground. Choose this site, 158. 158. Why? Because it's mostly in the shade during the day until evening sunlight. Uh, if you pull forward like I usually like to do, um, you get a lovely view of the territory here, the pond, all the grass, and you have no neighbors on this side, which is great. And $43 a night, pretty good deal. Uh, Wi-Fi is okay, doable. Cellular coverage is not great at all. 158, 
is the site you want to be at.